Hello and welcome to Dia's Fun Play. In today's video, let's learn what is a geostationary satellite. Before trying to understand a geostationary satellite, it is mandatory to understand what is a geostationary orbit. There are six different types of orbits used by artificial satellites in general. There are many factors that decide which orbit would be the best for a satellite to use depending on what the satellite is designed and used for. Upon launch, a satellite or a spacecraft is most often placed in one of the six types of orbits around the Earth or it might be sent on an interplanetary mission that does not orbit the Earth at all but instead orbits the Sun until it arrives at its final destination like the Mars, Venus or any other celestial body. The six different types of orbits used by artificial satellites are Low Earth Orbit, Medium Earth Orbit, Geostationary Orbit, Polar Orbit or Sun Synchronous Orbit, Transfer Orbits and Geostationary Transfer Orbit, Lag Range Points. We will only look into Low Earth Orbit and Geostationary Orbit as only these two types of orbits are most commonly used by Earth satellites. Now let's try to understand what is a Geostationary Orbit. A geostationary orbit is an orbit located directly over the equator at an altitude of approximately 35,800 km. This is very far from the Earth's surface than the low Earth orbit. Satellites orbiting in the geostationary orbit travels exactly at the same speed the Earth rotates. This makes a satellite to appear stationary at the same place for an observer at any point on the Earth's surface. The speed of satellites in GEO should be about 3 km per second at an exact altitude of 35,786 km. This speed and altitude is apt for satellites used for weather monitoring and telecommunications. Very few satellites are needed for a complete global coverage from the geostationary orbit as compared to low Earth orbit. Now let's try to understand what is a low Earth orbit. As the name suggests, a low Earth orbit is an orbit that is relatively close to the Earth's surface. It is normally at an altitude of less than 1000 km but could be as low as 160 km above the Earth's surface. A low Earth orbit is low compared to the other orbits but still very far above the Earth's surface. Low Earth orbit's close proximity to our Earth is useful for many reasons. This is the orbit most commonly used by imaging satellites as being near to the surface allows it to take images of higher resolution. It is also the orbit used by the International Space Station as it is easier for the astronauts to travel to and from the Earth due to a shorter distance. Satellites in low Earth orbit travel at a speed of around 7.8 km per second. A satellite in low Earth orbit takes approximately 90 minutes to circle the Earth. So, the ISS travels around the Earth about 16 times a day. However, satellites in low Earth orbit are not quite effective for tasks such as telecommunication because satellites in low Earth orbit moves very fast. Multiple satellites working as a part of a large constellation or combination will be needed for a constant coverage. To increase the coverage, sometimes constellations consisting of several of the same or similar satellites are launched together to create a net around the Earth. This enables to cover large areas of Earth simultaneously by working together. Now let's see what is a geostationary satellite in detail. A geostationary satellite is an Earth orbiting satellite placed at an altitude of 35,786 km directly over the equator that revolves in the same direction from west to east as the Earth does. At this altitude, a geostationary satellite takes exactly 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds for one complete orbit around the Earth and thereby traveling at the same speed the Earth rotates around its own axis. As both the geostationary satellite and the Earth move at the same rate of speed, the satellites in the geostationary orbit appear to remain stationary over a fixed position. The speed of geostationary satellites must be about 3 km per second at an altitude of 35,786 km. Geostationary orbits are mostly used by weather and telecommunication satellites that need to stay constantly above one particular place over our Earth. In this way, an antenna on Earth can be permanently fixed to stay pointed towards that satellite without moving. A DTH television, for example, uses signals from a geostationary satellite that is meant for broadcasting television. You would have also noticed that the DTH dish antenna is fixed permanently at a particular direction. 
Did you know that your normal household DTH television antenna receives broadcasting signals from a geostationary satellite placed directly above the equator at a height of 37,000 kilometers? The geostationary satellites are also used for weather monitoring because they can continuously observe specific areas to see how weather trends emerge and change there. Satellites in geostationary orbits can cover a large range of Earth, so as few as three equally spaced satellites at 120 degrees apart can provide a complete global coverage, except for few small regions in the North and South Pole. So, to see the whole Earth at once from geostationary orbit, fewer satellites are needed than the low Earth orbit. I hope you understood what is a geostationary satellite and the differences between low Earth orbit and geostationary orbit. See you again. Thanks for watching DS1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Why not subscribe right here, right now? Don't forget to press the bell icon. The choice is yours. DS1 Play.